Hey guys, this is Grace Gonzalez here. As you can see, it's finally time. We are going to see who is going to win this ultimate battle. Will it be Hilbert, which is right here, right where I'm standing next to, or will it be Nate, the one I'm actually controlling right now? We'll see in a minute, but let's go ahead and talk to him, and let's do this. Hello. This is Silbert. Is there something you wanted to do? Yes, we're gonna battle. For two. Single battle, no restrictions. We got this. Battle? Of course, but I need time to get ready. Alright, guys. Let's do this. Alright, guys. There's gonna be three rounds for this, um, thing. Cause, um... Okay, I'm only gonna show you guys this, um... Uh, the battle on here because if I try and show you off of this one, it's just not gonna look right. So, yeah, if you want to like a really good battle, it's gonna be off of here. So, that's pretty much it. So, the first round is going to be a shiny battle, the second round is going to be their uh team that they uh started their journeys with, and then the third would be their upgradation. So, let's go ahead and get started with that. All right. So, our only shiny we have right now is going to be Dragonite, so I'm going to go ahead and enter that one. And then for um, our shiny, it's actually this one. And I'll give you a summary of it. I have been training this a lot in the past, so yeah, it's pretty much good to go. They're both level 100, so let's see how this goes, shall we? Alright, here we go. Round 1. There you go. Okay, I don't get that like that thing that's on their arm. I don't know what that is. But oh well. Alright, ten minutes on. Now I'm not gonna be taking sides. Um it's just gonna be like whoever wins wins. So enjoy. And the winner is Hilbert. Obviously, okay, to be honest, I was thinking about wanting to do the um, Hyper Beam, but oh well. That's that. So, round one, Hilbert has it. Has the round. Alright, I'll see you guys for round two. Okay, so our next round is going to contain the Pokemon they started their adventures with. So, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, first off, let's give you guys an overview of everything that's happened. So, Samurott. Obviously, this is Hilbert's first starter Pokemon. Did some pretty serious records with it and all that. And it is known as a Water-type user, so, yeah, it pretty much knows Water-types, but hey, it'll be fine. Alright, Watchdog. One of the Pokemon that Hilbert caught on, um, Route 1, due to a catching contest Bianca suggested, so yeah, and 
and ended up being, being pretty decent. But let's see how that battle goes from there. Alright, Scowlin. This is not the same Scowlin as that uh, Hilbert used against Nate. He, this is the one that he started as well. Also was caught from Route 1 with Watchdog as a catching contest. And obviously has been kept with ever since. Leopard. After Hilbert seeing the Purloin um, battle off of Inn, he decided to get one of his own. And this is how much it's grown ever since. The two unpheasants. Obviously, um, I just wanted to get these two unpheasants just so that you can see the differences. So, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. They actually ended up being pretty decent battlers, but we'll see how it comes from there. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and enter this. Alright. Now, moving on to Nate's uh, original team. So... Embor, obviously one and eight starters, and this one actually started starred in one of the trailers of Black and White 2. So yeah, not this one actually ended up being pretty decent. All right, Scowlin, I decided to kill like get like a Gen 5 Pokemon, so this is the best I pretty much got so far. So yeah, Lucario, another Pokemon that uh, Nate had in the trailer as well, so. It's pretty much been kept with ever since, and it ended up being pretty overpowered, so... But let's see how it goes against Hilbert's team. Alright, Delcaddy. I know what you guys are thinking. Why does Nate have a Delcaddy? Obviously, this is the only Gen 3 Pokemon I could find, and it was also early as well, the earliest. That's why I gave him a Delcaddy instead of, like, another Gen 3 Pokemon that comes later in the games, because... This is the only one I've got, but it's actually not so bad once you learn how to um, handle it. So, yeah, I think this Delcaddy might be in as a cheerleader or something. I don't know. All right, Azumarill. I needed a Water-type Pokemon so bad just to get to use this as an HM slave, but it also ended up being being pretty good at battling. And I forgot to change the moves there uh, from before because I was recently did something else. So yeah, Arcanine. This is actually one of the last Pokemon that Nate had in the trailers. I will uh, give you guys a link to it so that you guys can go check it out. It's actually pretty cool, and I do love it. And yeah. So here's its move set. It's pretty a good battler. It's kind of like uh, Scowlin, except it's a fire type. And the reason why it's like Scowlin is because of the retaliation. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So we're going to go ahead and... Enter all these Pokemon in, and we'll see who will win round two.
And the winner is Nate. So, Nate won round two. So, that's Lee's last question. Who will win the last round? Find out on the la- find out in the next um, cutoff and all that stuff. So, so yeah, the last round will be their upgraded team. So, let's see how much their teams change by round three, shall we? All right, in the first round, Hilbert obviously beat Nate with the shiny, uh, with his shiny Scowlin. Even though a lot of you probably expected Nate's Dragonite to beat it, beat it, since you know dragons are pretty much OP in this gen. But nope, Hilbert surpassed through. In the second round, Nay made a huge comeback with his Lucario that pretty much swept most of his team. And now, the final round will begin. These two are about to have their final match. One of them is going to become the Unova Champion. Well, I don't know about Unova Champion, but basically top Unova Trainer. Who is it going to be, you guys? Let me know, and let's see if you guys are right. So without further ado, let's go ahead and head over. Alright. But before we get to um, Nate's Pokemon, let's see how much has Hilbert's changed. So the Pokemon Hilbert changed is his Unpheasants, of course, and Watchdog. So this is how it's different. He has Zekrom on his team. Obviously, this is a, um, a legendary you can get once you um, get all the badges, and then all chaos breaks loose, and then and ends up summoning Reshiram, and then that's when Hilbert Zekrom comes in, takes an effect, and it's been uh, pretty powerful ever since. All right. Next up, Masharna. Now I've heard like in like a manga Hilbert had this on his team, so I decided, hey, might as well do it. And I actually found this off of the Dream Yard, like. After the post game, you go to the dream yard again, and there's like um, different expansions everywhere. And there was a wild Masharna there, so I decided to catch it. And it's been here ever since, so yeah, it didn't really have any good moves. So I decided to give it some TM since I tried doing the um, that um, memory removal or rem like the um, like where the Pokemon learns their moves again. But it didn't really have anything good, so this is all I can come up with. And last but not least, the Volcanera. I actually found this off of the uh, Relic Castle. Or, yeah, Relic Castle. You go to the single hole. It was actually met at level 70, so that's pretty good. And this is its moveset, so it's pretty much of a decent battle slur. So, we're going to go ahead, and this time we're actually going to have Zekrom first. Because it, there's going to be something pretty special coming up. Alright, next up... We have Nate's Pokemon, which he pretty much removed his Scowlin, Delcaddy, and Azumarill to Zorak, Braviary, and Reshiram. So, Zorak. Okay, this one was obviously found in Driftful City. You, a uh, Team Plasma member will basically give you this one as a bonus. And this is its pr moose set, pretty much. So that's, so that's pretty good. Alright, next... Whoops, that's not what I wanted. Next up, Braviary. You can find this off of Route 4. This is actually, like, um, something that you can come across early in the game. And I was kind of surprised myself. Yes, it still has the Pokerist for some reason. I haven't taken it off yet. And this is its moveset. So, it's pretty decent battler, but let's see how it goes against Tilbert. And last but not least, Reshiram. Obviously, you get this Pokemon whenever the post game comes in and... You'll have a battle with N, and he's going to have this Pokemon, and after you defeat him, he'll basically give it to you. So, yeah. Alright, so let's go ahead and enter these guys in. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, do that. And uh, let's get round three started. This is the final round, you guys. Who will become the top trainer? At least in Unova. Alright, there goes Hilbert. You know, okay, I really have to say something here, because, um, Hilbert kind of, like, his animation looks like, um, the animation of Red. I don't know why I think that, but, oh well, we're creating another Red versus Ethan battle. Except this time, we got Legendaries here. Alright, let's see who will win.
Man, what an epic battle, you guys. But after a close call, call, I think it's pretty obvious, you guys. So, that answers the question of who would win if there was a battle between these two. Alright, you guys. Obviously, these two are basically going to shake hands now since, yeah, the match is over. So, so until then, that's our answer. So, if there was a battle between Nate and Hilbert, who would win? We got the answer right here. It was a tough call, but Nate has the win. So, anyways, um, this, <laughs> this was actually pretty fun to actually do these battle against e these two. And it was pretty good. Like, everything was, like, going all out, and I was, like, getting all excited. Even myself, because, like, no one else does this. I mean, normally they, they would, but they would have to hack the game. But there's another method to it. You can basically have two DS's with you. And you can actually have Hilbert, um, get his team ready and everything. And, um, you'll have to play through black and white, um, and get Hilbert, um, leveled up as much as you can. And then you start black and white too. And then you start your journey. And then once you get a second DS console, you'll be able to battle, uh, with your other game. So... Yeah, you can, you can also battle Hilda as well, but only if you play her in your black and white games. But other than that, I will see you guys in the next video where this is actually not over. But it is pretty, it has been pretty fun doing this battle, these rounds, and who would have thought that it would come down to the wire. So, <laughs> anyways, thanks guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video where we'll do something else, and um, pretty much that. So... Yes, the series is not over. There's actually a couple of more videos left. Um, and then after that, we'll move on to Star Gold, Soul Silver. And until then, I will see you guys later. Goodbye from the boys.